bedtime babble. So you've got to put yourself in the point of view of this person. Right. Role play. Don't make it. All right. Role play is more than just your filthy slut mind. Yeah, <laughs> boy. As the only competent technical support officer at a very dangerous, one of a kind prehistoric zoo. <laughs> Right, okay. Mm, okay. You are underpaid and overworked at a highly stressful job where your boss berates you, and when you ask for your team to have basic manners, they get very angry. A very wealthy but shady man, don't Google the actor's name, offers you a life changing amount of money to steal from your employer, and the storage device you're given makes you feel like a secret agent and you squeal like a dinosaur. It turns out that the thievery isn't particularly hard, very much depending on the weather conditions and your driving ability. Do you take the offer? You know, I think you could play this out. Actually, I've been emotionally abused by my employer. I want a bit of something, something for myself. All it is really is just getting what you you deserve. Oh, <laughs> get what you deserve! Fuck it, I'm taking the money. Uh-huh. And me little squirty cream. <laughs> if you're that downtrodden, no one respects you, but you're the one person who's got the skill set required to do the job. Yeah. Then leave. They're fucked without you. You can work somewhere else. There's no danger of death by just getting a different job. What if I said to you that he already had another job at that company, but they said, hey, do you want to... No, I don't want to work for the company that wants to steal other company's secrets. I want to go work for a company that is building their own legacy, not paying off in secret agent style someone else. Oh my God. Too much. He's too much. so moral. <laughs> too yeah, much. Just... It's nothing to do with moral. Too much professional <laughs> integrity, mate. I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. I'll report it to HR. I'll file the proper paperwork. No, see, I wouldn't report it to HR. Because, oh. Well, because HR aren't there for you. They're there for the company. <laughs> that was that was Ned Nedry. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the most powerful and skilled users of an ancient religion with superpowers. Your father, who is also a very skilled user, is one of the most feared men in the galaxy, having chosen to use his powers for horrific evil. Sensing the good within him, you refuse to fight him and end up saving him, metaphorically, which puts an end to 30 years of ruthless dictatorship that in its spare time would blow up planets. Ten or so years later, the galaxy is mostly at peace and you're training a new generation of children eager to learn your ancient ways. One of them being your nephew. Despite training going well, you sense an evil within him and have a bad dream, which involves women and children screaming. Do you sneak into your nephew's tent in the middle of the night with the intention to kill him with your laser sword? Would I kill my nephew uh, because I had a bad dream? No. (laughs) But then I don't have a mystical religion that gives me magic powers. Imagine if you did. uh, Yeah, I'd have to be pretty confident in those dreams. I feel like I'd probably go and speak to a medical mental health practitioner. Luke. We are what they grow beyond. Yeah, I think it's probably a, a better step to take than just... You know, almost like there's an in between familial me- murder. Yeah, yeah I feel like we could actually just frame this as a mental health advert. Actually, this this scenario. Luke didn't seek help. He didn't talk to anybody. Then he murdered his nephew. Attempted Tried to. Attempted to. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. You used to sit him down. Everything all right, mate? Who would you sit down? You, the nephew. Oh, if you, have you ever had a dream? Like Luke, if you've had a dream that your nephew goes out and, and destroys people. Unless you wake up Lad. in the, or, 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 or destroy stuff, like does whatever it is he does. Unless you wake up in the morning and that's actually what he's physically doing at the time. Yeah. It's a bit of a leap to assume that that's what he's going to do this afternoon. Mm. So maybe you can sit down, head it off at the pass, you know, have a nice cup of tea. Maybe you correct chat. those ways, you know. Maybe exactly. you try harder in training to exactly. get them to not go to the dark side. Like maybe, maybe you just maybe what could have happened to you, but you also battled with it, Luke. E- exactly. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Maybe he's struggling the same way as yeah. your father did, and you should recognise that and do yeah, more to. Help. to uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Recognising a family pro- problem. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, that's because you two don't take risks. <laughs> And if you were a director I mean, and writer yeah. with any kind of cojones, you'd take risks. <laughs>